Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this simple NPC system. So these guys are walking around, this guy is dancing and here's someone on the phone. So you can easily extend this here. So let's go. So the first thing as you can see I imported some characters here. So and it's pretty easy when you want to use them. You just go right click on a skeleton mesh, then you go skeleton, assign skeleton. And then you just uh, select the basic UI mannequin skeleton. So pretty easy. First of all, we go to our third person blueprint, blueprints, and we have our third person character. I just replaced the mesh as you can see, nothing else. And we go to duplicate this one and call this AI char. So let's put this inside our NPC here, NPC folder like that. So open this up and the first thing is we can remove everything here inside the event graph. Then we go to the viewport and also we remove the camera boom and the follow camera because we didn't need this. And we can also delete all variables like this. Great. So the first thing is we have to create uh, three new variables. So the first one will be the destinations. The destinations will be a target point object reference. And this will be an array. So compile and save this and be sure that it's public. The second one will be the target. The target will be an integer and it will be a single value. And the third one will be a state. So as I said in an earlier tutorial, we have a state machine for this. So let's create one. We go here, blueprints, enumeration. Let's call this states. Open this up and let's create some states here. So the first of course will be the normal state. So the basic one, then we have the walk state, then we have, let's say the phone state and the dance state. Whatever you want, you can extend this with every state you want. So let's first of all, save this here. Let's go back to our character and create a new variable. That will be the state. And of course we will set it to the states enumeration Compile and save this. As you can see, the default value is just normal. Great. And we make this public as well. Great. So, when we now put this character inside our world here, we can, when we go to the details, control him. So we can set up the mesh that we want. So we can use different meshes, as you can see. So this one or this one or whatever you want. So let's leave it to this one here. And we are able to set the states and we're able to set the destinations. So the first thing that we need here is I want a separate animation blueprint. So first of all, we go to the animations here. I imported some animations as you can see as well, put the link in the description. So let's duplicate as well our third person animation blueprint and call this AI animation blueprint and put this inside the NPC folder as well. So this is more clearly, there it is. Of course, we have to set our new animation blueprint right here. So let's select it and put it right here. So now every change just goes to the AI character. So in the NPC one, not our playable character. So let's open this up here. And what I want to do is as well, we create a state here and as well, we set it to our states enumeration. So we go from the try get pawn owner return value like this and cast to our AI character. In this case, put this inside here. 
then we want to set the state inside here. So we have to go from the character and say get state like this and connect it. So that's it. So now the animation blueprint knows exactly the state of the character that we set. So let's go to animation graph, the default one here. So this is our basic um, animation graph. So we have the idle, the jump, and we can extend this here. So let's create a new state here. So add state and this will be the phone state for example. So as you can see, you can easily extend this. And what we have to do is we take out our state here, get it, and then we say equal, equal enumeration. So we now are from the idle to phone, of course, we want the phone state for this. And of course we can copy this and we want to go back from phone to idle. Of course the state has to be normal. And the last part is we have to set the phone state. So let's search for a phone animation, talking on the phone and just connect it. As well we do it for another state. So add state and this will be the dance state as well and we have to go back to idle and we do the same thing we take out our state here say equal and we go from the dance to idle so that leave it to normal and from idle to dance of course we ask for the dance state as well, of course, we set the dance animation. So we search for dance and I have this dance animation here. Compile and save this and we are done here. So we extend our simply animation graph to the phone and dance state. So we can close this here. And now we have to fill up the event graph. So we need the begin play event. And the first thing we is we ask which state is selected. So again, we ask for the enumeration and we want to ask is the state walk because this is a special situation. So we need a branch of course and ask this. So we need of course a reference to self AI move to on true and self is the foreign self and now we have to fill this up here so we get our destinations then we say get a copy we take out our target connect it like that and this will be the target actor then we take out our target here again say integer plus integer. Then we take out our destinations again, get the length of the destinations. So it is extendable. Then we say integer is equal to another integer and compare this both integers here. We need a branch and from the success we ask is the target at the length of a destination. So is the character at his final walk point. You can say on true, of course, you want to set the target to zero. And otherwise we want to set the target to the plus value. So this one here, as you can see. In both situations, we go back to the AI move to like this. So now we created a loop that goes to every destination in the list, goes to the next one and the next one until he's finished. When he goes to the last point, he set it again to zero and walks to the first point again. So he has a loop to walk. 
otherwise we didn't need anything because we just used the states. So we are done here, so let's go back to our level and I want that this guy walks down the street. So it's pretty easy, we go to place actors and we search for the target point. And we place this target point at the end of the street, so let's do this here, put this down on the street here, like that. Copy and paste this, put this on the other side of the road, then again put this down the street, like this one here, and a fourth point at this corner. Great. So, then we select our character again, open up the details, and what we can do now, we set the state to walk. We want to walk here. Then we set the destinations. And then we click plus that we get four points. And then we set, select the first target point, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, like that. So if we want, we can change the character. And yeah, that's it. The last part that we need is Again, we go here and say enough mesh bounce volume, put it right here. So let's extend this here like this. And when you switch P, you can see the radius. So let's move it up to the street here like this one. And let's extend it over the whole map. Like that. Great. So it P again and now disappears. Great. So, and when we now hit play, the character walks down the street. And of course we can extend this so we can easily copy and paste this guy here at the other part of the road like that. Turn them around. And now we can set different target points. And we open the details. So let's say he will go first to the target point three, then four, then the first one and then the second one. And when we now hit play, he walks down the street as well. So let's say we want a third one. Let's copy and paste him. And this guy should just dance. So we'll go to the details. We can delete all the destinations and set him to dance. And let's replace him with the usual mannequin here. And then we take this guy here, copy him, put him right here, replace him with the female one, and set the state to phone. And when we now hit play, as you can see, she's on the phone, these guys are walking down the street, and this guy is dancing. So, of course, you can extend this, whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.